And my favourite just now is the Muse headband. Not only because I look like I'm from the future, but it is an awesome tool for sensing yourself being in flow. I use this with my clients just now, especially through the physical movements, because surprisingly, like I said earlier, people that are struggling to meditate, this kind of gets them into a better meditative state than it does anything else. It's crazy. When I get them to sit and meditate, sure, they can get themselves down into the calm state. And that's how Muse measures it. They measure it in three ways. You have an active, a neutral, and a calm. And when I've done these meditations with my clients, sure, they've got themselves into the calm state, but it's not as consistently as they do when they have some sort of physical exertion into it. Not too much of an exertion, more of a sort of, a bit of added pressure onto it. So, what you do is, is you connect to the Muse device. Now, when you are inside training, you don't really need the headphones because you can hear it from, um, you know, a, a corner, it's quite distance. You can connect it to maybe some sort of Bluetooth device you have about, or you can use that futuristic, funky headband I used in the last videos to have the, 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 the background information. Now, what I mean by the background information is, is that with Muse, you have this, you, ha you have, for instance, a, a few different settings, but one of the settings that I use a lot is the, uh, the the beach. So you hear the sounds of the water, uh, you hear the sounds of the, the ocean crashing against the, the, the beach. When you are in an active mindset, that noise is kind of loud. When you're in a neutral mindset, it's a little bit more quiet. When you're in a calm mindset, you get yourself really relaxed, you actually hear birds tweeting. So what we want to get is we want to get a lot of tweets from different birds, okay? So you do the same routine, you connect it. The cool thing again with the Muse is, is that you can set it for three minutes, five minutes, whatever it may be, and train yourself to get into the flow with this device. So, I got the same device on. Oh, before I go, uh, because we're doing active movements, the connection might break but I have come up with an ingenious idea. It's called an elastic band. And thanks to my fantastic assistant, he has managed to put this on and it keeps the Muse device signal connected. However, it may still break uh, contact uh, Muse and it's not designed for what we're doing, surprisingly. But you can get away with it. And that's what we're doing. Now, before we go, one more thing. If you can't do the backwards roll, don't put the Muse device on because you'll probably end up going to crush the device, okay? So I want to roll over my shoulder and continue on with my flow routine. And we have a few variations here because remember, these movements should force you to pay attention. Your job is to then relax as much as you can in that state okay so you want to make sure that you keep relaxed internally and that's one of the things you get when you train in the martial arts you have the outside danger but inside you need to remain calm the warrior's mindset if you want and this is what you're really training in here you can look at it as a coherent balance between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system and that's what the research is pointing towards is that when you're in a heightened state both the sympathetic and parasympathetics are in a coherent state so you can look at it like this but the bottom line is you want to tune into how you can allow yourself to relax while continuing doing these movements and the muse assists you to say yay or nay okay so i highly recommend trying out one of these headbands i highly recommend you trying it with this flow routine plus i've got some really really cool flow triggering exercises that i'm going to release to you all soon using this here the muse 
headband from the future.